I'm Blade, the Crazy Five. And 1972 is when I actually came along with my friends uh, Vam, Crotchy, Def, Tall 13, and of course Comet. Hello there in TV land. Yeah, the but... kings are here. wants to know the true history of what happened in Graph from 1970 to 75 can come to Blade, Comet, Fuzz 1, <coughs> Phase 2, Coco 144 for Broadway, Tracy 168. These are people that were really there from the beginning, real pioneer stuff that know everything in detail without exaggeration. And again, we are the true legends. I consider us the founding fathers of graffiti, part of it. Yeah. We contributed it in the beginning, through the middle, and to... stuck through through all of the years of the 80s, and through the rest of the 80s, through the 90s, and here at the turn of the century. We're still alive to say it We're today. still alive, We're 45. We're still the kings. And, and the rest of what I do in my artwork, I contribute and show to the world. It's like, why is he talking like this? Because we are the kings. That's it. <laughs> well, this That's is the a... bottom line. Right. <laughs> I know, but I don't like to say it like we're bragging. No, know? we're not bragging. Yes, kind of... Facts and fiction are two different things. This is a fact. No. Nah, I'm just goofing out there on TV. Man. It's like, right. nah. It's yeah. I can't be serious. When I began writing, I started hanging out with uh, Hondo and Fresco, who lived in the neighborhood here. And I was watching them as the older guys, you know, really out there bombing and, you know, putting singlets on every car, which they call tags, I guess, since the 80s. And I wanted to be down with that. So I got involved with Graf then. I invented the overlapping 3D. Uh, Comet and I invented the Blockbuster, which is a duplicate of it on my wall behind me. Comet and I invented that in 1977. Another Blockbuster production. Even yeah. when I was writing as a kid, crazy as we were, we didn't write on a person's church or a person's on a car. Church or a person's home. No, we didn't do stuff. You, know, like you that. didn't do anything damaging. But they always associated it, graffiti and vandalism as the same thing in the early 70s because it all still looked like scribble because there were no masterpieces, like there in 1972. Actually, if you look, if I hold it still enough, if you look at the background, you can see that's the first beginning of pieces because the other pieces are small of the masterpieces. And on the rest of the car, all you see are single hits. So everything went from that point to this point to that point, and then this other name came along later and just made his a little bit bigger. And that's how masterpieces began and developed from single hits into that and expanded. That was a stick letter piece. That's all there was, was stick letter pieces in 72 and started developing into a bubble style by the middle end of 73. So all of these guys out here, they're doing all this graffiti and they're making their money, but I'm the true legend, the true king of bubble letters, the one who started it all. Come, tell the guys there, give like, them some props. Come on, I'll smoke my cigar yeah. while you all right. can dictate. All right. He, Phase 2, and Jester were the three people that invented bubble letters because it's already documented hey, in See books. how the truth comes out. Right? Those are the three people that did bubble letters, the first I've ever seen. What you were doing when the people first started writing from 70 to 72, there were no masterpieces at all. It's something that just really caught on. I couldn't say it was a fad because a lot of people were out there not only doing it for just getting their name around to see their name circulate the city, but they were <coughs> also showing their, that they didn't like the stuff going on with, uh, with President Nixon, with Vietnam. So there were people actually going up to the trains to write about things like that as well. That's kind of like Blade saved everything. One of our first pieces on the Third Avenue well, layups. The Kings, Comet and Blade. The only true kings. <laughs> just gonna fade away again. <laughs> you gotta put that in that school. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember this. We caught school. Yeah. We, yeah. We yeah. caught school at Evander Childs yeah. with Robson Paint and Martin's Paint, and we bombed. In the daytime, we did this. Yeah. Right in front of everybody on White Plains Road. Yeah. Because we're the true kings, and still are, 30 <laughs> years later. Yes. What kings meant at the. Uh, even from the beginning, it was the meant that your name got around most throughout the entire city. And it wasn't that you called yourself kings. Other people acknowledged you as king because it was like, that guy's name is up. Anywhere you went, you saw that name, that means you were the man. And from, even though he started in 71, the rest of the Crazy Five members started in 72. From 1974, 
until 1982, Comet and I were the kings of the twos and the five line. Undisputed. Yeah. Every car, both sides. Thank you. Yeah. Which is true, kid, believe it or not. Over anybody that was there, even <laughs> our own pieces. We had no room, so we went over our own pieces. Our own whole car, so it was actually a time. And from 1978 and 1979, we could actually stand on East 180th Street or Tremont Avenue at the last stop and would actually see our names on two or three of every ten cars. Both sides. Both sides. And the best thing that I still think to this day about graph that's cool is because it's the only original type of art form that I could think of for the centuries that have gone by where it was something invented in 1970 right here and now everybody in the world knows what it is and actually does it. I feel proud to know that Myself and Comet were like the founding fathers of something because we were there from when it began to develop Before to the stage it is now. They put hip hop, break dancing, and rap music and graffiti and all that stuff together because it's something I guess they thought they could market through through whatever the hell reason. But it has nothing to do with the original stuff when writing came along in 1970. It's got nothing to do with anything. That's all 80s stuff. <laughs> Kings, ah, the true legends. We won't go away. Blade Comet, the Kitty Fire. Bye. And that's the end of the turn.